this is lesson number two which is flow chart what is flow chart the name suggests showing the flow or depicting the flow with the help of a chart so a flow chart is a diagrammatic representation of the steps and the control transfer control movement or flow of the control so flow chart is a type of diagram that may represent just to solve certain tasks or it can also be a precursor to an algorithm or to even a code or a program so it shows the steps in the form of boxes boxes of various kind right and they are all connected with some flow showing symbols which are called arrows this is a simple example where we have various symbols see this is an arrow arrow this is diamond you know some conditions are also there and that then uh, there is some start stop we have to add it but the simple thing is lamp if it doesn't work then we need to see whether the lamp is plugged in or not if it is not we plug the lamp if the lamp is indeed plugged in then we see whether the bulb is burned out if yes we replace the bulb otherwise we repair the lamp there are various types of box used in flow chart the first one is because this is a flow chart so we have to show the flow of the of the control or of the uh, program flow or the steps how the steps how the decisions are being made what are the steps are being taken to take care or to cater to various situation that arises to solve a certain problem for that we have a flow line which is this is used to connect symbols and this is actually showing the flow of logic this is terminal actually it can be a circle it can be an ellipse also so this uh, represent the beginning start and end of a task this is a parallelogram which is used to show input and output so this is used for input output operation like the reading like the displaying and the data to be read are displayed these are described inside this box then we have processing this is used for arithmetic and data manipulation operation and the instruction are listed inside the symbol then we have decision we have a diamond for that this is used for any uh, logic or comparison operation and uh, this has uh, various exit or we can say entry points so it can be one entry point multiple entry point multiple exit points so this dip, this works on yes and no we can uh, solve or we can show various tasks in terms of the flow chart for example if we have to draw a flow chart to find the sum of two numbers then we start we input a input b so this input is shown in the parallelogram we can combine these two also means input a comma b we can say then we have total is equal to a plus b that is we add them assign to total and then just print so where this actual computation is going on we showed it in the form of rectangle then the next is draw a flow chart to find the simple interest so we start we end then in the in the beginning we have to enter prt because we know the interest is p into r into t by 100 then we need to display it and if the user require more that is we have a we have a decision control here means yes or no is the possibility for that we use a symbol which is diamond so yes is this we go back back again do this again check for yes and no again if it is no we stop now a flow chart to find bigger number among two numbers so if two and three is uh, to be checked we know that we can check two greater than three because we know that two is not greater than three then three is bigger otherwise two is bigger right so this is the logic we are going to use so we start we read a and b we check for whether a is greater than b if it is yes we print a if it is no we print b and then we end 
then we have uh, another uh, flow chart for factorial now factorial for example we have to find factorial 3 this is we start with this say factorial n so we start with n then just deduct 1 that is subtract 1 that is 2 then again subtract 1 that is 1 and then we stop here and 3 into 2 into 1 is the factorial for that we start we assign fact as a variable and num equal to uh, 0 then we read the number that is 3 if for example if we take 3 then if the, if the number is greater than 1 what we do we assign fact to fact into num that is fact is 1 so initially 1 into 3 will be assigned to fact then we reduce the number by 1 that is now 3 has become 2 now we reiterate it this is a loop so we reiterate it because the, uh, the number is uh, greater than 1 still because we we see that it is been subtracted so it, this 3 has become 2 so this uh, num into fact so now fact is 3 into 1 that is 3 and now we are multiplying 2 because 2 is the latest one and we reduce now this again so this become 1 we are going to go back and we see number is greater than 1 it is actually equal to 1 so we just print the fact and fact is nothing but 3 into 2 which is 6 and this is what the factorial is and then we stop so a flow chart is a type of diagram that represents an algorithm a process a decision solving uh, specifically as a precursor to making a program and it shows steps as boxes of various kinds and also the connection through the arrows the flow line symbol this symbol is used to connect these symbols and indicate the flow of logic the terminal sim symbol it can be a circle it can be an ellipse the terminal sim symbol is used to represent the beginning and the end of task the input output symbol this is used to represent reading and writing operation and the processing symbol this is used for arithmetic this input output is like a parallelogram and this processing symbol is a proper rectangle this is used for arithmetic and data manipulation operation and then decision making symbol in the form of this is a form of uh, diamond so decision making symbol this is used to represent any logic in comparisons operation so i leave this third for you but we'll discuss what is flowchart and what is the use of flowchart flowchart is a diagrammatic representation or symbol representation of the steps of uh, solving certain problem or you can say it shows the flow or the control that that a program is going to be and how we tackle different conditions, situation, iterations, looping, multiple time working of certain code or certain uh, task. This is flowchart and this is very useful because this is a kind of precursor to your program. So if you are making a program by flowchart, you can very well know that whether your logic is correct or, or whether your logic is going to work or not, right? So this is all about this uh, discussion. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself.